What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mouth. Um, as y'all can see, I have braided my hat up. And y'all know if y'all watched my video last night, y'all got to stay tuned to my channel, y'all, because sometimes I be doing continuation videos, okay? So um, if y'all watched my video last night, y'all you would know that I detangled it. And so off camera, before I went to bed last night, I braided it up to prepare myself for wash day today, y'all. Um, I was going to do it last night, but I was too tired. So I just took some pictures of what my hair looks like while it's braided up. Up. Today is January the some girl. Today is January uh thirty first. Today is the thirty first. Okay, so I guess um I do have before pictures of when I first started my hair journey, which was January, which was the beginning. Of, it wasn't the beginning of January because I didn't start it on New Year's Day, but probably like well, maybe I did. Child, I don't know, but it was in January at the beginning when I did my before pictures. So, I'm just giving you guys a lymph check, not to compare what has happened since from then to now because, you know, it only been a couple of weeks, so we can't compare nothing in a couple of weeks. So, um, just to show you guys, this is what my hair looks like now. Um, I don't know what number that is on, on that y'all seeing. Um, I guess I'll be able to see what number it is when I watch this video. <sighs> Make sure I'm relaxed, okay? And that's just the back part and how it looks on the sides. I did take pictures of these, so for future references, y'all, um, these are going to be my comparison pictures when I braid my hair again for my next wash day. Not the next wash day, but maybe like three months wash day. Okay, so because I ain't going to be doing no close comparisons because um, hair don't grow overnight. Okay, so it take, it take a little while. So you can see, uh, it, you know, I don't want y'all to see a picture with, okay, your hair grew this much, you know. <laughs> No. So, unless something miraculous happens and the Lord just sent me this much hell, then I'm going to be like, hey, y'all, look what happened, girl. So, but other than that, I'm going to get ready to go ahead and wash my hair. Since today is wash day, you guys can see, I lost my other wild grow bar. I don't know where it's at. Well, I know I ain't lost it. It's somewhere in this house. Um, just done been moved. Um, so, this is my uh, bottle. And if you can see that little oil in there. That is wild growth oil. You see that that WG I wrote on there? That stands for wild growth oil. And um, I am going to get my shampoo. Y'all, the shampoo I used the last time. I love it. Uh, let me see. Let me tell you about this shampoo. This is Silk Elements Luxury Moisturizing Shampoo. This this shampoo is not sulfate free. And the reason why um, I like this is uh, the reason why I like not sulfate free shampoo. Um, this time is because I'm greasing my scalp a lot and I'm gonna need that extra uh, detergent or whatever in it to help me get all the grease and stuff that I have been putting out of my hair if I use a sulfate sulfate free shampoo um, it won't get the get as much grease out of my hair that I would like it you know to get so this one makes my hair feel really clean and it's also moisturizing at the same time i got this from sally's this was uh this is a leader i got it on sale uh like in december it was buy one get one free girl so you know i got me too so um that's that shampoo and this is some wild growth oil this is what i use in between the days that y'all don't see me grease my scalp okay i know today is uh fertilizer friday but as you guys can see i took my hair down to go get my hair braided up but y'all we're gonna talk about that in a minute i'm gonna put me a little bit more wild growth in there. wait a minute this wago right here got peppermint oil in there thanks to pooby she put peppermint oil in it but um they always mess with my stuff so i'm gonna put some wago oil in it in my shampoo yeah that's what i'm gonna do the last the last time i showed y'all my wash day i forgot to show y'all that stuff but there was wago uh, oil in that bottle not a lot but enough to just you know y'all can see it it's not a lot but just enough to 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 get it right y'all so i'm gonna put my shampoo in in you guys saw how much shampoo i squeezed in there now that's the shampoo mixed with the wild grow oil um they say the you know the wild grow oil in the yellow bottle is for it's it's supposed to be for when you wash your hair you put it in your shampoo. So instead of me buying the wild growth in the yellow bottle, I just do the same thing with the one in the white bottle because I'm not finna be buying all these wild growth oil because I used to do it with the yellow bottle and they smell the same, they feel the same. I, and, I, and I really believe they, they is the same because um, 
you know, why would I, that yellow bottle lasted me a long time. So in order for me to, to just get my go ahead and get my uses out, I just put a little bit of in the white bottle. Because when I think I bought that yellow bottle, it lasted me about a year, child. And um, so I ain't got time for all that. I just started doing the yellow bottle. So I just fill this the rest of the way up with water. Now, y'all, I usually don't do this with no cup and all of this. But this for video purposes, honey. I just go in the, in the kitchen and get put, put it under the faucet and put my water in there. But for video purposes, y'all, I'm going to do it this way, okay? So you guys can see that I'm actually putting water at the faucet in my shampoo bar, okay? And I shampoo my hair while I'm in my room. I don't shampoo in no shower. I don't shampoo in the kitchen or none of that. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Um, so that's my water ratio to the shampoo and the wild growth uh oil i might need to put some more i'm gonna put some more it don't matter as long as you got enough shampoo in there to get your hair wash you good okay so i just put a, i just put a little bit of shampoo in there just you know i did it for the culture <laughs> so i'm just gonna shake this up And it's pretty much, you know, when you shampoo your hair in the kitchen, you ain't doing nothing but putting water on top of shampoo. So that's what I'm doing here. Putting the shampoo in my head and putting the water on top and mixing it together. Then you lather it up and you get all your bubbles. That's the same thing I'm doing here, except I'm in my room sitting in front of the camera, okay? And this is how I like to shampoo my hair while the braids is in because it helps me with my detangling process and it won't help have my hair tangle up as much, okay? I need to let this. I need to let this be upside down. Okay, so I can get that from the bottom. That's why I grow all kind of settled to the bottom. So I'm just gonna shake that up and get it out. Okay, it's out. So I am ready to go and shampoo my hair. But first, y'all, I'm gonna take off my lymph check shirt because I don't like to get my lymph check shirt dirty with my towel. I don't like to get my lymph check shirt dirty because I only put it on to check the length of my hair. So I'm not finna wash my hair in my shirt. I don't like to wash my lymph check shirt either because I don't want it to shrink up or, you know, in the dryer, you just clothes be shrinking up their cotton and stuff, but this is my lymph check shirt. I need it to be the same every time I put it on, so I try not to get it dirty, put it on real quick, take a few pictures, show y'all, and take it right back off, so that way my shirt can still be in tip-top shape as long as I can. Now, I do wash it eventually, but I try to keep it in, um the same state you know because i don't want to shrink up or stretch out or whatever your clothes do when you wash them you know so that way i can get my true length results that's 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 why i do that okay all right all right okay let me take off this shirt y'all i'll be right back okay y'all so i've taken off my shirt i redid my sh redid my shirt i put on another shirt um and i got i need to put a few drops of a few more drops in it i'm gonna get some of these bubbles off of here real quick like get some of these bubbles right here and that's just so it won't overflow because what I'm finna do now is I, I had I thought I had peppermint oil in that wild growth bottle but that ain't that ain't the one I put the wrong that's that's just that was just regular wild growth oil so I got my peppermint oil right here gonna shake that up because I ain't been I ain't used it in a while and I'm gonna put a few drops it comes with a dropper I got this off Amazon and this only helps with like the tingling you know it it, it 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 penetrates and tingles in the scalp you know promotes blood flow to the scalp you know and promotes hair growth okay it's kind of like massaging your scalp without massaging your scalp okay so i just want a few drops of peppermint oils in there all that okay and a few more Whenever you use peppermint oil, they say you got to mix it. Well, you have to mix it with another oil because it's so strong and all of that stuff. But listen, I don't know science and all of that. I ain't no scientist. I just put a little bit in my um, my shampoo bar, okay? So, um, yeah, because you're not supposed to put it directly onto your scalp. You got to mix it with a, I don't know what you call it, carrier oil and oil, or some kind of other oil and whatever, girl. Somebody can explain that below who, who got more sense to me because I don't know. Put in my shampoo bar to make my scalp tingle, okay? But anyways, when I do use this, I will mix it with my wild growth oil or my Jamaican black castor oil. So, I do know that much. You only put it straight on the scalp, child. Oop! Shake it up. 
put my little towel on, girl, and I, I can begin to wash my hair. Now, the heater is on in this house because it was cold, but honey, I'm moving around doing a video, and it ain't cold, child. I feel like I'm about to sweat, child. Let me turn this fan on, girl, because it's getting hot in here. Okay, so I want to be on camera with my whole shouts, y'all, because I do got on some little whole shouts. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I am ready, ready. Just gonna put my little towel. I'm sorry if I look orange, y'all. I don't know. I think this towel, um, the color of these, this towel is making it appear orange. Make me look like an Oompa Loompa girl. So, my hair is ready. I got everything out. I'm put all, straighten all my stuff back up because I like the clean as I go, y'all. That's, that's just me. All my shampoo caps, clothes, and all of that stuff, so. Y'all, I hope I ain't put no, no chemicals in my drink now. I'm sipping on green tea with cough, two cough drops, two lemon honey cough drops. Because y'all, I told y'all I was sick. I don't want to like, I just was going to keep going. So, <laughs> I had a sore throat, um... I had strep throat, y'all, for real. I had, probably didn't sound like it, but I had strep throat, got strep throat. And I'm doing better, though. It's all good. Look, look, I don't like that on my face. I look so orange. Let me see if I can fix this light, girl, because I ain't that orange, am I? Nah, I look, I was, oh. listen, y'all, don't pay me no attention. Okay, so I can get this in my hair, and I got enough product in this hill. I got enough shampoo in this thing to um wash my hair five times, sir. I don't know why I turned that fan on and I'm gonna wash my hair and then I'm sick. Child. I'm gonna turn it off in a minute, y'all. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. What you don't want to do is get no shampoo in your eye. Let me take off my glasses, y'all, because my glasses is just in my way of me wiping my eyes. Whew. Okay. I don't know why I ain't talking, y'all. I should be running my mouth. I'm trying to concentrate and not get this peppermint oil up in my eyes. Girl, it's going to burn. Remember when I had that extra build up at y'all on my edges because of the, what you call that? Glue got to be glue and even um edge control, so make sure I get my edges real good up in there. This is the perfect way of washing your hair without you know having to worry about the detangling process. Okay, so let me turn around. You have to detangle still, but it makes your life a little bit easier, okay. The purpose of washing your hair is cleansing your scalp. That's the whole purpose. That's the main reason. You want to get a clean scalp so you can have um, healthy growing hair. A lot of people say that dirt make your hair grow, but child, I'm not going to sit here and have my hair dirty just to see if it'll grow. But I do go a long time in between shampoo, so I guess that's dirty enough. But I ain't going to just go without washing my hair just so people can say, oh, dirt make your hair grow. Child, please. Better wash your dog on half. A clean scalp make your hair grow, too. So, oh my god yes this feels so good y'all and it's going to automatically go onto the plat so you ain't really got to focus on that you, a little bit you know not as much but because I, it's going to get in there it's going to get in there one way or the other and as y'all can see if I was washing my hair in a regular sink in a regular sink let me turn around not a regular sink, but if I was washing my hair over the sink and it was a loose, all this man, all this would be tangled up. And then I have to detangle it while it's wet and all that other good stuff. And child, ain't nobody got time for all that. 
Cause that's especially me because I'm very tender headed. That's the reason. That's one of the reasons why I do this method because I am extremely tender headed, y'all. Oh yeah, y'all. I told y'all I had a stir time for y'all. I probably just so. Okay, y'all. So, um, my hair, my braids, whatever. I told y'all get my hair braided. So, I'm not gonna get my hair braided, y'all. I'm not. I got scared. Not be I, what I got scared of because the girl lived kind of far away. I'm making a whole mess up in him. The girl lived kind of far away from me. She like 30 minutes away, right? Right. So um, I can't. I can't drive, y'all. I mean, I could drive, but she's on the highway, and I have this phobia. <laughs> I'm real scared to drive on a highway and in intersections and all of that stuff, child. And then, so me and my husband did a practice drive. He took me the first time, and it was cool because he took me. I ain't scared when he drive because he know how to drive on highways. He ain't scared of nothing. I'd be so scared. I have anxiety. My heart be beating fast, and I just cannot. So, um, this... I did, we did another test run to see if my dumb self can get over there and I can't. And we went down the back roads and I was still scared because it was some big roads and big buildings. I just, I'm just afraid y'all. I need a cure for that um, <laughs> sickness because it, apparently it is a sickness because I can't, I cannot y'all. I can't help it. I need help. So, so needless to say, I had my break, my hair appointment scheduled for tomorrow and I won't be going to get it done because my husband got to go to work and I can't drive that far. Okay. I tried it and I was too paranoid. I don't trust myself to drive that far by myself because I have panic attacks and anxiety attacks and I will get scared. I literally would on the highway and have to pull over and I'd be stopping on brakes and stuff while the car be going seven and I want a break, you know, stuff like that. And I want to get over that fear, but I don't know how y'all. I really want I really want to get over that fear. Um I've been watching YouTube videos and this lady was trying to teach you how to get over it and all of that stuff and I'm like she say the best thing to do is just get out there and drive. I'm like, yeah, okay, right. I I wow. How when I'm scared I can't just do it just like that. You know, try to calm down and man <sighs> Taking deep breaths, I be panicking, I be straight tripping, I'm scared of the semi trucks. You know, I don't want to live my life like that, y'all. <laughs> I don't want to live my life like that. I want to go get my hair done. And then, okay, that's one reason. Another reason is I'm so tender headed. My head was so yesterday once I took my hair out and stuff. And, um, but it's feel okay now. That's because I, after I detangle it, detangle, anytime I detangle my hair, I put any kind of pressure on my hair, my head be like, sore not sore to like sores in it but it'd be like tender like when you touch it, you can feel like ow ow don't touch me that's the kind of pain that i be in with my scalp i have no scalp problems i never had any scalp problems or any ailments but it's just mental y'all i'm just a little cuckoo so i guess i ain't gonna be going so i'm gonna try to reschedule on a day that my husband got have an off day because I wasn't thinking when I re when I scheduled it because I didn't know she was that far because it said she was in Montgomery. But child, she she thirty minutes away. She thirty minutes away. My husband can get there in like twenty minutes, but me on the back roads is like 30, 35 minutes. And, and when I say she on some back roads, she on some back roads. So roads that I'm not familiar with. Anytime I go somewhere that I ain't got familiar with yet, I be kind of scared. And I don't know y'all. I'm just so punk. When it comes to stuff like that. So, whatever. It is what it is. And, um, that's just how it is, y'all. So, I'm going to reschedule it. I told, I talked to her. I ain't tell her why. Just told her I reschedule it for another day. So, her, uh, she is booked up until, like, the middle of the month. So, by the middle of the month, y'all, what y'all think? Y'all think I should, um, get my hair done in the middle of the month or wait till the beginning of the month next month and just start my whole cycle over because i can just do my hair myself this time i kind of want me a wig i really kind of want me a wig i'll just probably don't get my hair done at all because ugh, y'all look what i done did ugh, he's just doing too much gold mouth stop stop doing it okay so yeah um i don't know y'all what y'all think y'all let me know because i really wanted my hair done but at the same time I don't know. It probably wasn't even worth it. I don't know. It probably was, but listen, I'm confused. Somebody help me. Help the sister out, okay? So, that is it for my story, y'all. Um, so, at the end of the day, I'm not going to get my hair done. I'm sad.
because I really wanted it done and I had to went and bought me some weave and everything so but then when we took that test drive uh, me and my husband he was trying to help me get over there he was like why are you scared what's so scary about the road and I can't explain it y'all I don't, I don't know I ain't never been able to drive on a highway, even in Florida. I never drove on like I-4 and I-10 and all of them, all them eyes. And I drove a little bit, like when we, like when we be going, when we traveling like back and forth to Florida, I might drive for like an hour, but it got to be on a straight road with none of them big old bridges. When the bridges go like this, and then there's one come this way, then another bridge, and then you can see all the bridges at the same time. I'm like, oh my God. And then when you go around that road, it's like a real sharp circle until you get on the interstate. I swear, I be about to pass out when I'm in the car with somebody. I have to close my eyes. I have to do a lot of closing my eyes when I'm doing that, y'all. And I don't like it, you know? I don't like it. I, and I won't help because I want to be able to get out and adventure and enjoy life, you know? I feel like it's keeping me trapped. My road is limited, y'all. So... Yeah, that's my story y'all <laughs> so that is how you want how I wash my hair so what I do next I go rinse this out in the sink and then I do this same thing again so I'll be washing my hair again but I do let this sit on my head is tingling something pretty you hear me my hair is my scalp is tingling and it feels good it feels kind of like um i got the virgin hair fertilizer in my hair so if y'all want to pick up some of that peppermint oil i advise y'all to get y'all some peppermint oil and put it in your shampoo bottle if you're gonna do this if you like the tingling feeling this feels real tingling so this is how i know that they got a lot of um yeah oh uh, look y'all it says for all other uses um Carefully dilute with a carrier oil, such as jojoba oil, grapeseed olive, or almond oil prior to use. So you have to put this oil in another oil in order for it to not burn you, okay? So uh, you can put a few drops in your shampoo. You just cannot use this directly on anything unless you're using it for aromatherapy. And I think that's like when you put it in one of those jars or, you know, burning it. I wonder if you could burn this oil. I think you could burn this oil. Yeah, so this is how it's a natural essential oils are highly concentrated and should be used with care. So be careful and don't have these around your children because Nivea could get in this and really hurt herself, okay? Because she know how to twist tops off of bottles and stuff now, y'all. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna just since y'all don't see me do my shampoo before, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna go ahead and, and end this video right here because y'all will see me. I'm gonna rinse it out. And then I will bring you guys back in another video when I... What's my next step? Oh, I'm going to be dyeing my hair, y'all. I forgot. That means I can't condition it. Okay, so the next step is going to be dyeing my hair black, honey. So stay tuned for that, y'all. If y'all still here watching the um, the video uh, at this point, I know it's been a long time. Just comment in the comment section, shampoo. S-H-A-M-P-O-O. -O, shampoo. Poo, okay thank y'all so much for watching this video don't forget about my bonnet y'all always a link in the description box below go to creations.wills.com if you want to purchase your satin line bonnet thank you guys so much for your support and thank you for watching this video and that's all i got to say and i will holler at y'all later bye